everybody. I'm Cheryl Hamilton, and today I want to show you a bundle called Seaside Wishes that is just beautiful. It includes um, this stamp set and um, these dies. And the um, I think my favorite thing about it is it has this hybrid embossing folder. Isn't that cool? It's um, So I'm going to show you how to use this embossing folder, different ways you can use it, and um, give you a couple of ideas for cards. Like here's, here's my first one. It's so pretty. So stay tuned and I'll um, show you a few ideas of mine. Um, you'll find this bundle on page 73 of the annual catalog. And you can see Seaside Wishes and then these are the dies, and then here's the hybrid embossing folder. And so I just wanted to show you, I wanna show you this one card and then probably I'll make a few more. Here's the card I'm gonna make now. And um, gosh, it's just so pretty. I, first, um, I'm starting with, okay, basic beige, which is kind of a new color. I've cut it down the middle at four and a quarter by 11. Okay, and then I've scored it right in the middle at five and a half. Okay, and then also I'm gonna cut one and a half inches off one of the ends. And just discard this piece or keep it, because you'll use it for something. So the card is like this. Um, on the bottom here, I've cut this piece four and a quarter by one and a half. This paper is so pretty, you guys. It's, um, it is, oh, I'm making a mess. It's called Thoughtful Designs 12 by 12 Specialty Designer Series Paper. Okay, and it has, let me just show you the colors. So I use the blue one. And um, I've, I'm prepping it for a class, but see how the colors are all a little bit different. Like there's Lost Lagoon. The pink is gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? It almost looks like Berry Burst, and then it goes into um, Calypso Coral. Oh, here's a Rust and Calypso Coral. And then the greens, Mossy Meadow and Wild Wheat, and I don't know what else. And then a really pretty purple one which i don't know maybe fresh freesia and all the way to highland heather but um this is very pretty i've also cut a tiny strip of misty moonlight this is a quarter inch by four and a quarter and i'm just gonna stick it under here so first let me glue on this pretty designer series paper Now to make it straight, I usually push it down and press the edges just to make it flat, you know, real straight right there. And for this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the tiniest little line of glue I can and then see if I can line it up. <clears throat> Getting it as straight as I can. Yeah, it's real, it's just a little bit to make a, um, I just want a little border right there. Um, so the next thing I'm doing is I'm gonna stamp this little sun dollar. This is one of the images. And I could I tried it before in basic beige, but it was a little darker than I wanted. So I'm gonna stamp it with Versamark. And Versamark, you know, it's not just for heat embossing. You can also use it to um, just add a little bit of color to your, um, you know, to your cardstock. See how you barely see it, but it's there.
I'm doing it upside down like this because oh, I guess I, I still could get it. I thought it was a little bit too big. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now I want to show you this really neat hybrid embossing folder. So you can see um, what it embosses there. And if you want to use it along with the die cut, you just position the die cut over this. And you did you hear it kind of snap in? Oh, sh there, so it's kind of snapped into place. And I'm going to use very vanilla on this side. Okay, and um, let me just run it through the embossing, I mean through the Big Shot. Okay, I'm back. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that neat? And this thing has cut those little sand dollars out. I think I'll try another card after this and without using the die cut and um, use that background. But these are so pretty. You could, um, you know, use a blending brush or something and color them. I think I'll just do, do one of them to show you how it looks. Let me use Petal Pink and we can just see what it looks like. I'm just going to rub a little bit over here because I don't want it to do too much. Oh, you've got a back side. I like this side better, I think. If you rub harder over it, it'll get darker right where the sun dollar is. I think I need to mess around with it a little bit, but uh, it's still pretty. And when I have intricate dies like this with all these tiny little um, pieces, I like to take it over to my little foam pad and use the brush. And this just gets, it really helps you so you don't have to spend a lot of time. See how I got almost everything out of there. I can flick it a little bit and usually you can get it. Sometimes if you have trouble, keep, you know, if you have trouble with um, some of your dyes, you might need to add a shim, which means a little piece of, um, you know, like typing paper or, um, just you know, or or run it back and forth a couple of times. Those those are some tricks that really work a lot, help a lot. But that was pretty easy, and so I'm going to end up putting this over the back. And this stuff is always hard to do. I have a little thing I got through Amazon that's um, real fine point that I put some Tombow glue in, and. I just don't want to get it on the bottom part, so I'm just holding my finger there. Come on, glue. Okay, I think that's going to be good. It's not, I can go under and add a little bit more. Okay, so that's on there. I pop up the, um, I'm gonna use the middle one. And again, this is very vanilla. And some of it's going to hang over, so I don't want dimensionals on there.
Next, I'm going to use this little die that comes with it, to, and it's going to make this cutout piece right here. Okay, put little dabs of glue on it again. Okay, just one more thing. I'll do the, um, I want to do a sentiment and I'm going to stamp it with Misty Moonlight. The set has some nice sentiments. Um, you absolutely made my day. Your friendship is the best gift. Love you. And sometimes the simplest things mean the most. So I really like those. I'm going to do your friendship is the best gift. Okay, and then um, I'm going to cut it out using nested essentials dies. So I'm going to um, pop this up with dimensionals. Okay, there we go. Isn't that a pretty card? I really like it. And hope you guys like that. I'm going to play around with this a little more and try to give you more ideas. I thought I'd try something else just to see if this works. Now I'm taking my embossing folder and on the side that has that Stampin' Up! logo on it, I'm going to apply some ink. So I'm using Balmy Blue and I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I think it might be really nice. So I've just cut a piece of um, basic white and okay, I think I covered it and um, you know like a quarter of a sheet and I'm going to set it down and you can't really move it once you set it you know because it you don't want it to smear so let me here I'll bring this over so you can see what I'm doing You put the um, fold side in first, crank it through, okay, oh that's kind of interesting, isn't that pretty? And I definitely could have um, used this die cut I could also do it just now and um, run it through again like this and then cut those pieces out I mean so I'm gonna do something with this with this pretty sheet and I'll show you in a minute okay so I've run it through here and just pop these out and I think they're so pretty um, I'm gonna cut down this white piece a little bit to make it smaller well I finished my card and I really really like it so um, I don't like my videos to go too long but I want to explain how I did this so remember I ran it well I put ink on my um, embossing folder ran through a piece of white and then I just cut it down a bit to fit my um, card base which is balmy blue um, then I cut out the three sand dollars because they were really pretty. Here's my other one. But I wanted a sentiment or a something else and didn't know what to do quite. So I decided um, to find this one. And um, by trial and error, I've discovered if you're going to do a sentiment, cut out the white piece first and line it up on your card, and then you can stamp it straight into there. Um, 
what else did I do? Um, I had a funny little cutout here, and so I ended up doing this two inch balmy blue thing and embossed it again and just thought it was really pretty. Um, added some, where are they? The iridescent pearl basic jewels that are so pretty that you probably can't tell, but they're really shiny. I think that's all the tips for this, but it's really um, it's really neat. I like it. I, I glued this one down, popped this one up, and then the inside I just made a little bit of um, the Crush Curry. I think all I could have done is do a, you know, if I had Crush Curry embellishments or maybe a ribbon back here, that would probably have been a good idea. But anyway, hope you like this card. Okay, one final card to show you, just to inspire you about this bundled. I love this one, and this one I cased from Gail, Gail Ellis, who's a demonstrator in Australia, and um, I did everything all different, but it was basically her, um, her card layout. Okay, I ran a piece of white through an embossing folder, Birch is what it's called, and this is um, basic gray, just a little strip of that, and crumb cake stamped with basic gray with that little, um, wherever it is, the little starfish that's in the set. Now this one, I'm trying to remember how I did that. <laughs> I really like it. I know I did crumb cake and this paper is from, it's that one with the lace on it. Um, it's called Country Lace. So it has some blues and pinks and um, it was just a neat, I was trying to make kind of a vintage card. So I like these, these are speckled dots and just some black, black that I cut out from um, Lifetime of Love. I mainly was going for this, but I did cut this out and use some of the um, little branches off of there. So I hope you really like this card, and I'll do a blog post on it so that you can get all the dimensions and everything. Okay, thanks so much, everyone. Let me know if you have any questions about this set, and I hope you're inspired to get it just like I am. Have a great day then. Aloha.